Bacon is not an artist that we see at Phillips very often, and it's not an artist that we see in New York very often. So for us, Phillips here in New York, to have the opportunity to present a uh, seated woman uh, is really extraordinary. It's a, a really special picture, the way that he's smearing paint across the surface, extremely impassive, extremely energetic, very vibrant. It's a portrait of somebody that he hasn't painted very often. The first pictures of Muriel Belcher uh, from 1959. In 1960, he did a series of, of untitled uh, female figures, which were all based on Muriel. And we knew they were Muriel because of the certain uh, pose of her face and the split of her hair, this sort of domed black hairstyle that she had throughout her life. But you've got something curious going on here. Because in 1959, Bacon asked John Deakin to do a series of photographs of friends so that he could use that as source material for his paintings because Bacon never painted from life. Um, this is unusual because A, it's a nude, and B, it's a full figure. What is interesting here is that the head is Muriel, but the body is an invention. The body is actually Francis's own mind thinking through how to create a figure that is at once uh, quite powerful and robust, but vulnerable at the same time. It has a narrative outside of itself. There's a, a, a very interesting idea about how he's arrived at this image as opposed to just a technical or painterly one. He is one of the really, gr truly great painters of the 20th century, along with Picasso, Rothko, de Kooning, Pollock. This is an opportunity to share a little bit of that history, and um, I encourage everybody to come and have a look.